we've just seen is an example where if you formulate the problem better, in this case, if you make it so that the family of polynomials with which you create your n minus first degree polynomial, if that family of polynomials has the property that they are mutually orthogonal in this sense, then when you translate that into the linear system that needs to be solved, ideally that linear system exhibits the same kind of orthogonality. In this case, the columns of the matrix that came out were approximately linearly independent. Well, better than linearly independent, they were approximately mutually orthogonal. Okay? Now, unfortunately, it is often very difficult to formulate the problem in such a way that you get this kind of nice orthogonality that drops right in your lap. In those cases, you often still end up with a matrix. It may be easier to make the columns linearly independent or nicely linearly independent, but typically they wouldn't be approximately orthogonal. What we're going to see in this week is how to take such a matrix and how to factor such a matrix into a matrix that has orthonormal columns times a matrix with nice properties, namely an upper triangular matrix. And that then can be used to solve various problems um, that we run into. For example, the problem of how to approximate the solution to or how to find the best solution to an overdetermined system.